in this video, I am going to minimize this Boolean expression using a Carnot map. The Carnot map is already created here, as I have already explained in my previous, previous video. So I am going to populate the Carnot map. So we have 001, 100. Sorry, 0, 0, 001. So x not y not z. X y not z. So this is wrong. This has to be zero. One one one. So x y z. X y z not. And x not y z. We'll fill the others with zeros. So here um, we have these four that we can group as a group of four. And here we have common input Z. Now what are we going to do with this one? As you know, when working with Chiron Maps, it is very important that each group will have the um, maximum possible number of ones. So in this case, we can overlap this with the one next to it. It's okay to overlap and take those two as a group. And here we have X and Y common. Therefore, our final answer is F equals Z or X and Y. I am going to work another example. Here we have another Carnot map and another Boolean expression. I'm going to fill this Carnot map so x not y not z not x y not z not x not y z and x y z not and we fill the others with zeros now in this case we can take these two together as one group And we have y not and z not common. Then here we have this one, which although it seems to be alone, in reality, you know that this edge is next to this edge in a Carnot map. Therefore, these two can be taken in one group like that. And we have common there X and Z not. And then we are remaining, we have this one remaining. Uh, unfortunately, we can't group this one with another one because um, this doesn't have any neighbors. Therefore, we have to take it alone as it is, which means that that particular term will not be minimized. So we have to take it as X naught and Y and Z. Therefore, the final answer is going to be F equals Y naught and Z naught or X and Z naught or X naught and Y and Z. So that is the minimized version of this Boolean expression.